my god, this is really a bad news for Tinubu and his camp. No wonder a lot of people are coming out to say, oh, you know what, don't go to Supreme Court, just leave the matter. And I'm just like, if really it is a don't do, I don't think they will be worried. Why should you tell them not to go? Because you already know the outcome. Some of them will say, oh, it's going to be the same thing. The judgment that the tribunal ruled over, it is the same thing. You are not going to add anything, any petition again or any whatever to the already uh, petitions that the tribunal had ruled over. That is just a waste of time. When I hear this man, Araban, be telling a Labour Party that don't do that, just just be reminded that no any other uh, petition will be acceptable or will be taken again from the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court is just going to judge on what uh, the tribunal had ruled over. And I said, if that is the case, so does it mean that these people are not aware, the PDP and the Labour Party, they are not aware of this? So why do you want, why do they still want to take their case to Supreme Court? And some people are of the opinion that, you know, it has to be done to, you know, to a logical conclusion, whether, whatever. So let the uh, Supreme Court affirm it that this and this, that these people ruled over, this is what is going to be standing. But now the reason why it's not uh, going to be the way it's been said. And of course, you should know that uh, all these people are still listening to the so-called oppositions or the petitioners, they are listening. Moving forward, Abu Bakr's lawyers in response pointed out to a Supreme Court rule allowing the introduction of vital evidence under special circumstances which they believe the release of these records would constitute. Well, under sorry, circumstances, special circumstances, but whether the Supreme Court will see it as a special circumstance is what I don't know. The question you begin to ask yourself, who who is the person that pull or who are the group of people that pull this uh, tribunal judgment uh, judge justices together to be on this case who are the people is it not the same set of people who still select those who are going to do their bidding hmm. everybody is learning every day everyone is learning every day let's see how it goes this man was sacked the governor of a uh, ocean state was sacked but at the end of the day he won at the supreme court so that is where the whole thing is just a you know it's kind of dicey mm. so those who are jubilating saying that uh, no other whatever will be do you know will be accepted and they should know that uh, under special circumstances under special circumstances uh, uh the supreme courts can take evidence the supreme court rule allowing the introduction of vital evidences under special circumstances whether they're going to see it that way is a different ball game entirely i, I listen to somebody who is saying whatever judiciary or whatever they're going to do is none of the masses problem the what is important is putting the whole thing before them let them be overwhelmed with a uh, with evidence all sorts of evidence that is what they are concerned were concerned about whether uh, some people already believe that it's not going to go their way. No, that is not the issue. Let us do the right thing. See, eh? It's just like eh, the way this APC government has, has turned itself to. It's like eh, an armed robber. You don't go steal over somebody's house. You don't do a manner of thing. You can't say you won't go eh, charity. You won't go donate money. You won't go maybe... You believe in, 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 in Christianity at the end of the day. Oh, well, because uh, Jesus says that uh, in as much you do all of these things to the to your neighbor who do not have a house, who does not have a, a cloth, who does not who does not have a you know, who, those who are poor among you. So you think you can go to charity and pay money and you think by so doing you have bribed to God. Or you you try to go to church and give a what is it called? What do they call this thing? Go and give give offering. Or you want to build a project for them. You think you can bribe God. That is exactly what they are doing. You see, and unfortunately, they are not even doing anything. They have just, they, were, they are telling Nigerians, like Tinubu now has gone to Abu Dhabi, saying that uh, the issue of a uh, visa or no visa, is that Nigeria's problem? And gullible people and media cars are hailing him, that he's doing what? All the policies that he has brought upon Nigerians, they are causing problems to us. 
And Sanusi was telling Nigerians that hey, don't blame Tinubu, blame Buhari who has caused problem. But you are not telling us that hey, Tinubu who caused who made a lot of blunders under him. This is Naira unification and a subsidy remover. What did he do? He removed it with such a plans on ground and he, he escalated problems. Because if by now he had not removed that first subsidy and he really meant to do the right thing, all these months that he has spent about 300 or 100 days in office, he would have been using that to look for a way to cushion the effect. Now, they said they are bringing a palliative. Palliative now is the same 5 billion naira. At the end of the day, it is 2 billion naira they gave to the governors, which of course, 90% <laughs> uh, of that money is going to go into private uh, bank or private uh, pockets. So, it's not even like, uh, oh, they are even giving the people that will make them to say, yes, we can see the evidence of good governance. No. See compounding to the problem to themselves. It's so unfortunate. So those who are jubilating uh, that uh, uh, no other whatever will be uh, will be entertained, that means they are just deceiving themselves. Or maybe they know, but they just want to use uh, the other side of uh, the other thing. But being... Now that uh, the lawyers are saying under special circumstances, it's possible. Maybe in the in the real aspect, they don't usually accept, and that is what they want to use in intimidating or threatening the petitioners not to go ahead to Supreme Court. But it is not over once it's over. Once it is over. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.